Hi, I'm James, and as of recording, the latest version of Windows 10, the April update, or 1803 version, is available for download now. Uh, the quickest way to get this straight away is to do a search, as I've done, either Bing or Google or your favoured search engine, for the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool, and that will bring you to this page on the Microsoft site. And you'll see now it is showing Windows 10 April 2018 update available now. What we're going to do is use this link here for create Windows 10 installation media. And we are just going to say run to that. We're going to say yes, that's all fine. And this will now run through a few steps and this will allow us, what I'm going to do is download the ISO because I've got a number of machines to update. So I'm going to download that and use it to update systems uh, and also possibly do some clean installs as well. So first things first, we need to accept the conditions here. And then just wait a moment while it checks things. Uh, you'll also see when in the download link, it did say uh, the 1803 at the end of media creation tools. So that's how we know it's going to fetch the right version. We could opt to upgrade this PC now, but because I don't want to download it for each machine individually, I'm going to say create installation media. And then I want the UK version, Windows 10. Uh, well, I could put Pro, but it'll be for both and 64-bit. And I'm going to say I want it saved as an ISO file. I am then going to put it in my downloads folder and just put 1803 on the end of the file name. And that is going to download the ISO now. Now with our download just about completed, it's up to 99% and a few more seconds. And now it will begin the process of verifying the download. Uh, this is just checking that there's no corruption or any issues with the file that's been downloaded. And then creating the ISO file onto the hard drive. Um, it says creating Windows 10 Media, but as we're not putting this to a USB stick, it's uh, just, just saving the file onto there. And with that done, we now have the ISO file downloaded. And because Windows 10 can natively mount ISOs, we can just go in, select the file, double click, and it will mount it. And from here, we can begin the setup. And the rest of the process is really just clicking through and confirming that we want to do the upgrade. And it will take a little while to install. And then once completed, you will be through onto the April update straight away. I hope you found this video useful and um, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see us producing in the future and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more as we post it. Thanks for watching.